Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm here to talk with y'all real quick about how awesome this Nintendo Switch lineup is. Uh, is the Nintendo put this out on their Facebook, and um, I was looking at it and I was just admiring, man, how how great this lineup here. Of course, we got quality over quantity. We're not gonna have the AAA titles, as you know, the Assassin's Creed 19,000 and the Call of Duty 20 million, but. Uh, you know, we all most Nintendo gamers have two consoles, have two systems, and Steam or something. So we we all have access to these, um, you know, those type of t games elsewhere. What this has is what Nintendo delivers, what we want from Nintendo, what we expect from Nintendo. It is the exclusives and the indies, and plenty of them, plenty of them, and plenty of exclusives that we haven't had in a while, uh, and some that are even new. So I'm stoked for this, man. I'm giving this a nine out of ten, and, and uh, it's just this um, based on the future. When, when I really look at uh, what's coming uh, and what I really look at what we've had this year, when you really look at this big picture, it's amazing to see that all of this was really announced within the last year. And when you think about it like that, give or, two, give or take a couple exceptions, one or two, like uh, Shin Megami Tensai, for example. But when you think of it like that, man, it's pretty, and no more heroes. But it's pretty impressive. Um, and I'm glad Nintendo's been doing this like, you know, you know, they learned their lesson with a couple titles that are actually excluded from this bottom row: Metroid Prime 4, Bayonetta 3, um, and uh, Breath of the Wild 2. They learned their lesson. They're not going to do this announcing things 40 years out anymore. They're, they're, this window is, is tighter. It makes the excitement better. It makes the waits uh, easier, and it makes the reviews it probably scores and the anticipation doesn't get. Uh, the, the reviews are probably better. The scores are better. The reception is probably better because the anticipation doesn't just just weigh it down cyberpunk I'm looking at you and some others where it feels like the directors are in metroid prime 4 where the developers are pressured to rush these things out before they really want to but they're on this time limit um so so you know i'm glad nintendo has learned uh this was a little bit farther out than it was last time it was announced part one was announced and then dropped like the next month or something and that was blew my mind this time they went the other direction they said hey we got a sequel in the works fine with me I'm fine with the sequel. They, I just think they said a new entry in the series. I don't think they said it's an actual sequel. But a new interest in the series. I'm glad it's a series. That's the biggest thing we're taking away from this. It's That is a series. They're not going to do a one and done like they did with some of their other IPs or, or, or titles that didn't hit off as big as they thought. Um, I think eventually Kingdoms sold a bunch. Whoops. I think eventually Kingdoms went on to sell a bunch. But um, uh, in case you didn't catch that, actually, this is pretty cool. This is the, the new Pikachu, Pikachu Jet that they put out in japan i gotta go to japan man japan got all the cool shit but anyway man this is a great lineup uh you know first half you know we're about around here knockout city is awesome this i wasn't interested in game builder garage but the stuff that's been coming out has been very intriguing so some color me uh interested now um super mario golf that's gonna be big coming out this week i believe tony hawk skater one and two is a remake i mean it's on other consoles but i've been waiting for it i've been holding out for the switch version um I, that's something i need to play anywhere i go uh, you know, as a pick up and play 15 minute session thing. No More Heroes finally coming. That's a big game. This is a really long awaited sequel right there. That's actually a cult following. Is ecstatic for this game. I mean, we've waited since the Wii um, for, for part three for this. So, this is a, a dream come true. So, let's not take this for granted. Um, Skyward Sword HD as well. You know, this is the unappreciated, forgotten Zelda. 3D uh, Zelda. So, let's, let's not take this for granted. A lot of us beg for this, and it's finally here. Um, Metroid Dread as well. Can't take this. I'm not giving it enough love, enough tension. It's very cult. Metroid Dread is very cult. I mean, Metroid 2D Metroid is very cult. It's still growing. I think it's going in that same direction like Fire Emblem, where like the fan base is 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 growing as time grows, the popularity and such. Um, it's very appreciated. It's it's always had a very strong core fan base. It's been a part of integral part of gaming history. What do we call every single game in that genre? Metroidvania. So you know, uh, shout outs to Metroid Five coming and in that Samus Saga. Um, this right here, I know this is, you know, I'm getting this for the Switch. This is just insane that this is actually happening. So, um, but right here, these are the big ones. Nintendo is making all their money off of these three this holiday. These are the system pushers, of course. Um, but as uh, as gamers, as, as uh, not excluding these people from gamers, but as cult, there's some people that are uh, a little bit more, a little bit more diehard uh, fan bases, um, that, that, that we didn't think our series were going to come back. And, uh, and this right here, this is the one, uh, I, it's been what, 15 years for this as well. Nintendo just has these aces that they have in there and they know what they're doing, man. They, they just, they pile them up and they wait for the right moment. And then, oh, you thought we forgot. And they just throw them right at you. I'm still waiting for my damn Wario, uh, Wario lands to come back and stuff, but they, they did it with that. Shimagami has been five years in the work. 
So it's a long story short. The only reason I went, I just wanted to ramble about this. This is, and this is the the impressive thing is, it's this is the list of only AAA titles. They're excluding big indies. They're excluding re remakes and ports, stuff like uh, uh, DBZ Kakarot, um, River City Girls 2, Hollow Knight, Silk Song. If I don't know where that is, I remember at 2019 E3, I was there. I was in the treehouse. I skipped over it. It's my biggest regret from that trip is skipping over silk song because i thought it was coming out soon and i said it's day one don't worry i want to play borderlands 3 and i regret it i regret it i just finished the original hollow knight i was burned out you know anybody that's played and beaten hollow knight knows it takes a toll on you anywho uh there's a lot of good games and remakes toy soldiers big remake coming um that are excluded from this list um uh, Getsu Femudun, Getsu Femudun Undying Moon, I think I'm pronouncing that right, and, uh, and Aztec Forgotten Gods, a bunch of stuff shown from the indie world, or the indie world, the indie showcase earlier uh, on this year um, is excluded from this list, so, you know, we got to take into consideration all that stuff, man, it's a very, very bright future for the Nintendo Switch console, it's not showing down, it's not showing any signs of slowing down, um, and there's hella support for this thing from, from the first party, from the third parties, and from the indies. So I'm fine with it. I'm fine with this lineup. I'm fine with remakes. I like ports. I got Republic Commando. I like remakes and ports on a portable system. I like having the ability to play this, to have the accessibility without having to hook up old consoles, to sit on my couch, play these old classics that I want to revisit while watching TV. It helps my ADHD, my multitasking, whatever I need. Um, and uh, But just notably, before we go, before I let y'all go, or if you're even still listening, I'm nobody, but uh, there's, there's a, a few notable... Titles missing here. There's uh, Metroid Prime 4, Bayonetta 3, Breath of the Wild 2. None of them down here. Kind of worries me. I know Nintendo said we got plenty of more stuff coming uh, later this year. Plenty of announced day coming. But it's, it almost feels like we're another year about out for some of those. And uh, Metroid Prime 4, I'm sure. But uh, Bayonetta 3, Breath of the Wild 2, I was kind of looking forward to a little bit sooner. But hey, as long as they're fine, as long as polished, I can wait. I can wait. Just don't make me wait advanced years. Advanced Wars years. But make just just, you know. Let's hurry up a little bit fast. But anyway, a bunch of other good stuff coming. Um, I'm excited. 9 out of 10. And uh, we're also, we're Star Wars Hunters, actually. That, that indie game, I was hoping, I'm a Star Wars guy. I know it's a Zynga game. And nobody really cares about Zynga coming to consoles, except for me. But I'm intrigued. I think Zynga has a whole bunch of possibilities under their belt. Hopefully, they don't do all this free to play, play uh, and, and pay to win crap. Um, but uh, but it's a Star Wars game, so I'm always ecstatic for Star Wars games. Um Actually, before, another notable absence, which is kind of weird, Fatal Frame. I think that's a big, since Nintendo is now publishing this series, it's kind of weird that they would exclude it from their lineup here that they put on the website. I don't know, Nintendo's weird like that, but, I mean, if you're going to put Diablo on here, why not put Fatal Frame? I mean, but, uh, but hey, nonetheless, exciting future, plenty of games, plenty of support, I'm ecstatic. Switch Pro, don't expect it for another holiday 2022, 2023 maybe even. Um, that's definitely going to come coincide with Breath of the Wild 2. I will put money on that. $10 on that right now. Comment below. I can't $10 everybody. But the first person to comment below and bet me $10, I will, I will pay that bet. If Breath of the Wild 2 doesn't drop next to Switch Pro, I will pay you $10. Whoever comments first and then just send me your PayPal and if that happens, I mean, you have to remember and all this, so it's probably. But $10 is coming to you, whomever you are. So, anyway, thanks for listening to my rambles, my Nintendo talk. And I will maybe get to talk to y'all next time. Peace.